Mike Howard has devoted more than half his life to the service of his country and the citizens of Florida. I am a 20-year military veteran and a 20-year police officer. Now I'm retired and a full-time captain here in the Homosassa area. I have a charter boat where we take people scalloping, fishing, scuba diving, play with the manatees, full service charters business. As people age, they begin to experience occasional back pain. But after a driver T-boned Mike while on duty, his occasional pain became more noticeable. And though he has since retired, life on the water was not as relaxing as expected. Several years ago, uh, after having a an ac motorcycle accident, landed on my back, I uh, my back pain started to increase. I chalked it up to a little bit of old age and arthritis. After retiring from the police department and being on the boat full time, my number one concern is the safety for my clients. I noticed I was no longer able to maintain balance on the boat as I once was. The pain was excruciating at times and I was moving much, much slower than I ever had before. So I started looking into what problems possibly could be and every turn I made it looked like we were looking at surgery. His continual pain stopped him from enjoying the new life he so deserved. I had a uh, very limited movement in the lower back. The pain was uh, very, very sharp at times. It was always there. It was a very chronic pain, but times where if I was just to bend over to hook the boat up, uh, I would be almost literally stuck in that position for a while because it would be so painful that I wouldn't be able to stand up straight. I was unable to, a lot of times, even maintain proper balance on the boat. Uh, I, I caught myself at times stumbling, uh, trying to catch my balance, and that was very unusual for me. Uh, the pain I was going through really stopped a lot of my social activities. I liked to get out and go dancing, uh, and that was just not going to happen anymore. I noticed myself uh, becoming more and more of a couch potato and instead of being out amongst with my friends that I just did not feel like going out and about anymore. Many of my regular activities were limited uh, to no longer actually doing the things that guys like to do, work, work on stuff, uh, from mowing the grass to, to weed eating to, to just taking, uh, taking care of my garden. I no longer want to do those activities because of the pain was so bad. Traditional pain management methods left his pain unresolved, so he turned to the web to look for help. At first, I started to look into different types of uh, techniques uh, from chiropractic care. I uh, uh, did have pain management care for uh, over a year where we did injections into the back, uh, even had uh, several um, epidurals done, and these were just a very short temporary fix. I just could not continue just doing a drug regimen. I found out about the Bonatti Institute just strictly from going online. Uh, throw in some of those Google words and start looking at different places that uh, did advertise, that uh, did have a lot of testimonials about them. And there was several that was interesting. Bonatti's name just kept coming up over and over and over, the amount of relief people were receiving. I contacted Bonatti Institute via the internet, sent them an email. I was very shocked to receive a phone call within minutes. They went over a lot of details with me, what, how I was feeling, what they thought they could possibly do for me, and we immediately started looking into releasing medical records. At that point, within a couple of days, I had an appointment to come down and see the, the staff. By that time, they also had had all my medical records transferred to them, and they had a full diagnostic and, and workup plan all ready for me when I walked in the door. I spoke to a surgeon on the phone the day after I made my first initial contact. The, uh, it was with Dr. Bonatti himself, which I was very impressed with uh, that he would actually take the time to call me. He went over different scenarios of pain with me. And about the time he hit the fourth scenario, I said, that's it. That's and without even looking at an x-ray or MRI, he says, I think I know what the problem may be. 
and there may be more, but right now I think I can tell you what your problem is. And within a few days uh, after he received my MRIs and x-rays, he was able to confirm exactly what his plan of action was going to be. Upon arriving at the Bonatti Spine Institute for his first appointment, Mike knew he had found the answer he had been searching for. The day I arrived for my first consultation, I was very, very impressed, number one, with the facilities itself. Uh, my wife of 30 years is in the medical field, and she too was just very impressed by the uh, professionalism of the staff. Uh, we first met a gentleman at, at the front desk, Paul, who, uh, who made us very comfortable. We went into the clinic, uh, we sat with a nurse practitioner and went over some basic uh, medical history. And then uh, my surgeon, Dr. Scott, came in to see me. Dr. Scott's uh, calming demeanor, his, uh, certainly his knowledge of what needed to be done was beyond belief. He went over step by step, vertebrae by vertebrae, what they thought was wrong and w what type of relief I could expect. Using conscious IV sedation to pinpoint and eliminate his pain, the only problem he had after surgery was remembering to take it easy. Within about four days after my initial visit, I received a phone call to tell me that I was on surgery schedule to come in for my first procedure. Lumbar number four and five were the targeted areas at that time. I believe surgery took about three hours and it was the first time I've ever had surgery where I was uh, awakened during the surgery uh, procedure, which was a, a little strange to say the least, the, uh, but it was fully explained to me that I needed to help guide the doctor's hands to the right places. And by watching a monitor, by uh, knowing what to expect, the, uh, the surgeons were able to, to uh, very quickly work through what they found to be a problem in that area. Within a few minutes of surgery being over with, I was totally amazed that I was actually standing up. I've had a couple other surgeries before and where you're groggy and you, you know, you're, you're, you're immediately in bed, uh, certainly for 24 hours you don't want to budge. I was ready to get up and go someplace because I immediately thought, wow, I'm fixed. Now Captain Mike is back on the water and back to life. As many people I believe that have undergone any type of spinal surgery, I have to admit I was very apprehensive. Uh, I come from the old school. I remember when people were literally cut from the top of their back down to the bottom. I can remember seeing people after surgery wearing a very hard shell, clam shell type of brace. I did not want that. There was no way was I going to live life like that. When the surgery was explained to me that it was through a small opening and instruments were fed through a small opening and only a number, a certain number of vertebrae were worked on at the time and that I would immediately go to a hotel room that night and not be expected to really have a, a whole lot of restrictions beyond normal. I could not believe it. And after the first procedure, I could not believe that so much work could be done through such a small hole in my back. I was amazed. I'm back out on my boat again, fishing. Uh, I'm actually, uh, do spend a little bit of time on my tractor, doing a little mowing, a little plowing every once in a while. I have my life back again. And to me, that's worth everything. I cannot brag about them enough. Uh, again, they gave me back uh, a, a style of life that I love. And what's not to love but being out here on the water every single day of my life. We have a lot of fishing tournaments coming up in the near future. I'm certainly looking forward to being back out there amongst the competition. Competitors better beware, Captain Mike is back on the water.